Good morning, everybody. Uh, I am Taco, the Entertainment Community Manager, uh, here with a really big music AMA, uh, joined by Lane, as mostly always, uh, you guys all know Lane Bain Laker. Uh, the big reason I wanted to do this AMA, why I'm excited to do it, well, for the leaks, obviously, and also to introduce uh, Brandon Tatum, uh, AKA Cyrano, who recently joined Gala, joined Gala as legal counsel, and then was legal counsel for approximately two and a half hours before <laughs> we realized, oh, actually, he should be doing a ton more than that. So if we can start, um, Cyrano, with you running through A, I think your background, which is crazy impressive and then maybe lead that into what you're doing now with gala um and that yeah. shouldn't take more than i don't know 20 or 30 minutes <laughs> i'll try to keep it uh reasonably short i'm super excited to be here and to connect with the community i've been very much looking forward to this so even though it's uh 8 a.m or 801 a.m my time here in la um i'm pumped up and energized so or i should say i'm amped up oh, there goes the leak <laughs> uh we'll talk about that later but um yeah so my background and and why i came to gala music it really would have to rewind back to my childhood when i first got into music and actually formed a rap group with my brother that we call big boom massive um when we were eight and nine years old and so I've been an artist for a very long time. And at a certain point when I got a little bit older and I started to realize that the music industry was not fair to music artists that I loved, for example, and probably you love like Michael Jackson and TLC and Prince, all these artists who've been screwed over by the traditional music industry. And I figured, you know, once I was in college, I said, you know, somebody has to sort of take the reins and understand the business and the legal side of the music industry. And I said, well, you know, I'm good at academia, as you can tell by these <laughs> degrees behind me and three postgrad degrees. And so I said, maybe I should go to law school and learn the business and legal side of music and intellectual property. And um, that's what I did. And that's how I got into law, um, working at large law firms, um, working in-house at large companies, Fortune 500 companies, um, and then ultimately moving to Japan in 2013, um, where I worked a lot in the J-pop industry because I was um, representing a music client, a legendary iconic producer named Teddy Riley at the time. And he had placed a huge record in Japan, a number one record on the biggest uh, J-pop group called Exile. And uh, he said, hey, I really need somebody in Japan to help me expand the market and, and my reach there. And so I moved to Japan. Then we went to Korea and I got into the K-pop industry with a company called SM Entertainment in 2014. Um, and I worked for many years in the K-pop industry, representing some of the biggest K-pop acts that you can think of and helping bridge the East and West music industries. Um, and then let's see, right before coronavirus, I moved back from Japan to the US to take on the position as Director of Business and Legal Affairs at SM Entertainment USA. Um, and af after about a year or two, a year and a half or two years there, I moved to SoundCloud as director of business and legal affairs because I really wanted to uh, work with independent artists across a broader range of genres. And um, that's exactly what I did. And the thing about SoundCloud is they were laser focused on the independent music scene. It's probably the largest source of independent music um, in the world. And it's an amazing company. And the only reason I left is because I'm a very future forward person and I, you know, I really want to be at the, the front line of new technology and Web3 is obviously the most important emerging technology and um, Gala reached out to me and initially, to be honest, 
you know, they reached out for a mid-level lawyer role and I didn't feel it was for me, but after speaking with the team, um, they felt I should be general counsel of the music division here, Gala Music, and I thought that was awesome. We made a deal and I came over. <laughs> and then quickly thereafter, um, actually my first meeting, Lane, you'll remember this, first meeting I had at Gala was with the core music team and the founder, Eric, he suggested that, you know, we need to find ways to really embed ourselves in the local music artist community. Why don't we do some sort of music event locally, you know, everywhere where we have core team members. And that became Gala Music Live. And um, I was, I, I headed up the uh, first Gala Music Live ever here in LA, which was a massive success. And it was a lot of fun and we're planning to do a lot more. So that's a, that's as short as I can keep it. <laughs> I think that's pretty good. Yeah, I was at that meeting and you had, it was your very first meeting and it yeah. felt like within two days you had that whole thing wrapped oh, up. Within <laughs> like an hour. I have never seen anyone move with lightning speed like Brandon. It was amazing. Yeah, it was crazy. It was absolutely amazing. I mean, putting that entire LA music event, that was just absolutely nuts. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, for yeah. anyone who wasn't at that event, um, there were 10 artists who performed, uh, and they all got pretty amazing feedback um, from the community who was there. Uh, and we get a lot of questions about that was great. They performed. When are they going to join Gala? When can I buy their NFTs? Are we allowed to talk about where any of them might be in the process of actually signing with Gala? Sure. Yeah. So, <clears throat> um, currently there, so there's a couple of the artists from Gala Music Live who, uh, have signed with us, including Rhythm, um, and Clash. Um, and we're in the middle of negotiations with Jack and several of the others. A number of these artists were introduced through a very good friend of mine, Layla Steinberg, who co-hosted Gala Music Live with me and who um, people who know her, many people do from the music industry and her 30 year history in it, but she was Tupac Shakur's original mentor and manager. So she introduced a number of those artists and we're working on a partnership deal with Layla's uh, management company, Steinberg Management, to bring um, the rest of those artists into the Gala Music ecosystem very soon. Excellent. Uh, and you don't have to do any name dropping here, but your, your other connections in the industry are kind of ridiculous. Uh, we're all on a Slack channel and it seems like every day you're posting in there with meetings you have with people and I see the names on there, my mind gets kind of blown. So yeah, these artists are amazing in emerging, but you have connections to a lot more than just emerging artists. So people should be pretty excited about that. Yeah, and that's the, that's the trick. You know, Gala Music has to work for independent artists. Emerging artists is super important probably the most important, but it's also important to bring the more traditional, the bigger artists, those who are established, but independent, as well as those who are on record labels, like the big three, Warner Universal and Sony, um, to, to somehow form partnerships with them and get those big artists on the platform too. And it's, it's a gradual step, you know, just because it's web three, does not mean we can ignore laws like copyright and people's rights and their music compositions and master recording. So, you know, it takes some flexibility, adaptability and willingness uh, for these labels to explore um, this new technology. And, and they are, you'll see like Warner Music creating the Stickman Toys. Go to stickmentoys.com. It's a really cool project. Um, or you see Capital dropping their FN Mecca um, AI artist. Um, so they're, they're dipping their toe in, and my job is to help encourage them over um, more quickly. And, um, and that also applies outside of America, um, back to the K-pop industry, the J-pop industry, the Mando pop industry in China, you know, to the extent they open up their laws to... Uh, to blockchain and cryptocurrency and all that stuff. So, and obviously Europe, everywhere. We're, we're trying to reach everywhere. 
that answers a question we get a lot with, are we going to expand our artist reach beyond just the US market? And we absolutely are. Um, yes, that's yeah. happening. There's uh, great music everywhere. Oh yeah, and there's great independent music everywhere. So people who may be into the K-pop industry, for example, because it's the massive globally expanding genre these days, um, you may know some of the popular groups like BTS or Blackpink or Espa or NCT 127, but you may not know the independent artists in the K-pop industry, but I do. <laughs> and in the J-pop industry. So you may know Namie Amaro, for example. She's like Japan's Beyonce. But I know the local independent hip-hop artists. I lived there for six years. So um, we're going to be pulling in quite a, a diverse array of very talented artists. That's the plan. Awesome. Uh, a question we got from Nip Tuck in the AMA channel. Uh, obviously, want to bring on a lot of people. How many artists are we expecting to have on the platform when it launches, signed with Gala? Um, I would say approximately our target is 50, um, just for the, the initial launch. Um, in, I don't know if we can drop the launch date, but yeah. Whoa, 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 yeah. with the dates. Yeah, I don't think we can drop the date, but um, I think we're targeting a very strong core of around 50 initially um, on the platform. I, I definitely haven't used that number in Discord yet because that's a it's that's a big a, number. <laughs> it's a number, but it's a target, you know, and it's, it's a target. It's good. I mean, we've been drafting up, you know, some kind of marketing and GTM plans this morning. I'm just like looking at the slate, looking at the pipeline, and like, you know what? Holy crow, we can actually finish this. See, yeah. I'm doing a good job of not cursing. Look at that. Yep. Yeah. So, you know, bear with us. It takes effort to get, you know, artists assigned to trust the new technology um, and to, to gather the rights because usually artists don't own the entire song. They may have written the lyrics, you know, and performed, but they didn't produce the music. So there's two different sets of rights. You have to go and clear all of it. And um, everybody has a lawyer, so you have to go through their lawyer and their management. It takes time, um, but you can believe that we're working day and night on this. And uh, and people are excited, you know, especially after Gala Music Live Los Angeles and bringing those artists on. Uh, there's been a lot of inbound uh, sort of outreach to us to find out more about the platform. Yeah, for sure. Um... We did the LA Live in case people weren't aware. We're doing Chicago Live coming yes. up on September first. Um, if people are interested in attending, we have the form for that on our Twitter and in our Discord. If you want to sign up to potentially get tickets, uh, these events are super fun. Yeah, oh, yeah. Emerging artists. Also, if I think we still have like a spot, one spot is it two spots? on the bill for Chicago. So yeah. if you are in that area, was that the Illinois, Indiana area? Yeah. Around there for Chicago, and you know people that should be on Gala Music, send them send them our way. Send them to Taco, send them to Cyrano, send yeah. them to me, let's um, get them up, because this event is next week, it's the first. Yeah, and yeah, anywhere, that area, to Michigan, yeah, just send them down to Chicago. And they like to come down to Chicago. How far is yeah. Michigan? Michigan. It seems hard. It's super close. Yeah. Super close. I, I would drive down. So, so Lane, just to be clear, somebody listening right now has an awesome band. They're an amazing artist. They can reach out and potentially be on stage at the Chicago live event. Oh, hell yeah. Absolutely. I mean, heck yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'm uh, through. That's awesome. So hit me up. That's, that would be a pretty amazing opportunity for, for somebody. And get excited for San Francisco, Seattle. Get excited for um, Atlanta, which I'm going to be personally helping to, uh, helping to hit that one up. There's a lot coming, man. And then That's we're awesome. going overseas. So. Uh, 
Lane was giving me trouble yesterday for leaking San Francisco, and you're you're giving out the oh, whole thing. Yeah, the entire thing. And then mm. I thought Over London is doing a live stream last night. It was a brilliant live stream if you checked it out on Twitter. Uh, but he was just playing. He's got this awesome like funk record, and it's like this funk soul like '70s record, but with like this massive production. It was great sounding. Mm. And then he absolutely leaked that he was going to drop it on Gallup Music later this year too. As well, I'm like, <laughs> dude. That that dude is pretty amazing. Like yeah. listening to him drop his tracks and be like, "Oh, he can be a funk artist." Oh, wait, no, I actually like October London best as a country musician somehow. <laughs> yeah, when the acoustic guitar track came on, I was absolutely, I was not expecting that to be honest. And then it came on, I was like, "All right, that's yeah. awesome." Not yeah. everybody can do that. Yeah, this is how it goes with when someone does their first real ama with us they don't know all the stuff they're accidentally leaking the community yeah so you may hear a lot from me <laughs> accidentally oh, we're gonna watch this later and yell it off us. Yeah. Well, she's watching now. i've seen her in the youtube chat hi bucks hey bucks what's also, up hey, hey, hey darren hey atomic and crypto and every and sleeping giant all y'all are in here and i saw mm -hmm. um crypto bora hanging out too so all my friends are here i need to get in there so i can see yeah, our, our community is fun. So, okay, enough of the fun stuff. No. Uh, just some technical stuff for you, Lane. Because yeah. uh, there are some questions. Uh, All El, right. El Minero Loco and a lot of other people want to know, can you explain the decibels in more detail? Ah, uh, yeah. So the decibels came out, what was it, about two weeks ago now, week and a half ago? Those are <clears throat> what you get for running a node. So if you've got one of our music player nodes and you're running that, which is running the workload on your Windows or Mac or Linux machine or on a virtual machine, if it runs for six hours a day, question mark, six hours a day, you're getting the um, a decibel for that for every node. Those are stacking right now and they are sitting in your inventory. They're just kind of piling up. We will be introducing uh, the decibel rewards to actually come to you really shortly um man I, do i actually want to say a date i'm really bad about saying dates on here i have it under good authority it's by the end of the week that those will be going live to people um and we will post about it when it happens but those are going to act just like the popcorn that you have over in um gala film so there's a lot of there's a lot of connective tissue there but basically those are going to be piled into nice little items for you so the decibel rewards are actually like speaker systems because they're decibels. They put out a lot of, you know, speakers put out a lot of decibels, um, which is a measurement of sound pressure, not loudness, but hey. Um, but there's six varieties of them, you know, from extra small to extra large. And as you collect more, you'll get those sent to you. When you get the decibels, when the ecosystem is live, those are going to be basically a boost to your rewards that you're already generating from the nodes. So, yeah, it's super cool. Um, the uh, the artwork and the sound design on the little the item for the decibel is actually insanely cool. So yeah, if you do have you know one of the players' nodes, please run them. It is good for you to run them, and we're also testing a bunch of stuff. As one of the fun things we've been doing, you know, with film and music kind of coming at the same time, um, is we're able to take some of the things that film developed, like the popcorn and decibels, and then on you know the music team, we're doing a lot of development on what is going to be a lot of the media serving for both of them across the node network. So it's really cool how the kind of film and music entertainment squads have really come together into this like super media conglomerate. And we have our best friend Box with us too. So it's uh, it's an exciting time this week. For it sure. is super exciting. And that art is super cool with the speakers for the decibels. It's yeah. so cool. Did you hear the music? The mu little tunes yeah. on them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a pretty talented uh, art team and design team blowing everything out. It's awesome. I mean, box dance. Uh, you had mentioned uh, notes and running notes if you have music player notes. Uh, we get a lot of questions around when might those be available for sale again? Oh, good question. And I think I want to say we've had this question on an AMA before. And I don't want to recycle answers, but um, basically, we don't want to be opening up a ton more node sales all at once um, until we've really 
proven that we need it to stream that content, even in our testing that we're doing now. Uh, that said, there is likely going to be another round of them for people that did the pre-registration. So if you remember way back when, when we first launched the notes, after we sold out, there was a thing you could fill out um, and put yourself on that waiting list to get a note if you weren't there yet. So we do have an allotment for those folks. I want to say that form might open up again shortly, but TBD. Um, we do want to allot a little bit more because one thing I've noticed, and I keep saying run your notes, is a lot of people aren't running the notes. So it's hard to test the true capacity of the 25,000 right now. Yeah, that's fair. Get your notes up, people. I've got mine. They, they do magic in the background and then you get a decibel. Yeah, I'm collecting my decibels every day. I love it. Good. For sure. Uh, so we've heard this one before too, but for people who haven't watched our earlier AMAs, and they should because they're amazing, um, will there be an option in the future where we can submit our own music NFT tracks? If we don't want to sign with you specifically, just do it myself as an independent garage band artist. For sure. I think there's, we can probably tag team this this answer, but from from my standpoint there's a couple layers to it the first is when you could just be able to submit music to us and have us you know get on our list so we can talk to you that is now we've got so many like thousands of submissions it's really important that we're trying to get to everyone that we can and at least hear everyone and bring some folks on but at the same time we've been bringing in people from gal music live and whatnot as well because they're in our network and they know us and all of that so there's a lot of there's just a ton of artists that come to us so you can always submit through the artist form on our website that's always fine i think what you're talking more is an the ability for an artist to come on and just say yo i want to make an nft i want to drop it on gala music and i want to go that for me is a definite future that we have but is likely coming you know probably early next year without talking about any dates because well there's no engineer here whatever um, but i think that's likely next year we really got to, we have to make sure it works on our side first before we're opening it to everyone because developing tools, you know, it takes a long time and it takes a big team. So making sure that it really works for artists and being able to test it with people that are already on board without opening it up to, you know, just everybody. And, you know, you don't want to open yourself up to hacks or cracks or, you know, things that people do those open C exploits. I don't want that on our site. Good. Yeah. Plus, I kind of like the idea of, of curation initially and delivering to you all just amazing artists at the start and, and people kind of discover brilliant music before opening it up more broadly. That's my personal preference, uh, but yeah. Yeah, I think that's totally fair. Um, one of my favorite parts about my job is I have access to the, to the list of when artist submissions come through I get to review them and listen to their tracks. And there's a lot that come through are super amazing. I've, I've been in contact with a couple myself and trying to get them on board with Gala. Um, I think that curation initially is, is important, but there's gonna be a lot of other avenues for artists to come on board on their own or through another program, like let's say Amped Up, for instance. Right, right, Amped Up. Um... You can get amped up about this. So we're going to do, I guess this is a leak. We're going to do a contest um, that uh, allows artists from around the world to submit their music um, to Gala for the chance to be uh, flown around the world to perform at some iconic locations. Um, ultimately, five quote unquote winners being selected and one grand prize winner who will then get to open up for a, a globally recognized music artist. So that's a, a plan ahead. And even for the you know other hundreds or thousands who submit, we'll be looking at them and, and seeking to get them to join the platform. So uh, it's, a good, it's a good way to uh, funnel new artists into Gala Music and, um, and to reward great artists. So it's a good, good thing that's very much on the way. There's a lot on the way. And I'm leaking all of it right now. Sorry, but unacceptable. This <laughs> unacceptable. <laughs> I'm gonna get fired. Uh, Lane, here's another um, terrible segue. Because it's not even a segue. Uh, once the player app goes live, will the end user have the ability to download and listen to the music offline? 
Hi, that's a really good question. If the if the artist rights say that they can do that, then yeah, we can do it. Like you've seen it actually right now, if you've got any of the instrumental tracks. So if you bought two Gs from Snoop Dogg or the stash box, then you've got some instrumental tracks that you can go download and remix and you know use for your own creative pursuits right now. But if I just want to download October London to listen to them on the plane. Is that a thing that we'll be able to do? I think we'll be able to do that. I'm going to say I think. <laughs> That's good enough for me. Hopefully it's good enough for uh, Proclaim01, who asked the question in our AMA. Is that a Proclaimers reference? I would hope so. Yeah. Why not, right? As long as I don't get, as long as he's not walking 500 miles to smack me in the head, it'll be all right. Uh, excellent. What else did we have on our list of things we wanted to leak today? Um, hmm. A very quick leak, perhaps, that uh, if you catch it, you catch it. If you don't, you don't. That's it. I, did, I missed it. You missed it. What was it? Oh, sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. And that's all we'll say about that. I think that's all you have to say about that. That's enough for me. That's what gets me excited. Yes, that's pretty dope. That's that one is. of the biggest leaks. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, Rob, yeah, we had much more you know, questions on the list and on the Discord, too, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, Rob wants to know, when can we have the music app for our phones? Oh, that's a great question and one I sadly cannot answer. Um, I know like platform goes first on web. It's mobile responsive, so it should work great on your phone. Um, but in terms of it being its own bespoke app, that'd definitely be a question for the uh, for the tech guys. It's going to be after the platform launch in um, fall, fall, fall. One of the problems I have is the engineering team is doing such an amazing job and they're so efficient and they're knocking so much out i'm tempted to make a lot of promises on their behalf because i feel like they can yeah. achieve so much i'm not going to do that this is how we get in trouble i don't live them we, we don't want that yeah but they're really cruising behind the scenes it's it's really impressive to see didn't we just learn that sergeant rock is like a martial arts master and we're not meant to mess with him, we definitely shouldn't be putting dates out without talking to the engineering team. I do not want to be judo chopped. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> engineering judo chopped too. Oof. Uh, you wait, my fry wants to know if we can sign Bad Bunny. I don't, do you have any connections to Bad Bunny, Sierra? I do, I do. We do. Um, absolutely, we will uh, be reaching out to Bad Bunny. Did you see the thing that he did with Snoop recently? No, I missed it. Yeah. What was that? What, I got to look that up. Yeah. Yes. So I have a pretty strong connections in the Latin music industry. So Bad Bunny, Ozuna, you know, all these type of, of, of artists we will ultimately be reaching out to. Again, you know, our initial focus is really emerging and established independent artists uh, because it's a, a bit easier to get them on board um, because you don't have to negotiate with major record label lawyers. Um, but um, we will, you know, as we grow and get more um, artists onto the platform and get more attention and recognition, uh, these bigger artists will also be uh, major targets. We have, we have the ability to reach all of them. Brilliant. And to be clear for everybody, there are tons and tons of independent artists who own their rights who we can onboard emerging and established. Um, yeah. That's a large pool. Yeah, there's more independent artists than there are uh, signed <laughs> major label artists by far. And also, as a percentage of annual revenue of the global music industry, um, independent music is the most rapidly growing sector. So. And there's a reason for that. Um, and part of that is due to the developments of technology allowing independent artists to uh, spread their music and distribute it more broadly, to market themselves more effectively, and to connect directly with their fans 
um, around the world. And that is what we're all about. That's what blockchain is about. You know, helping creators continue to own their creations instead of having them taken by major record labels and um, and having them have the ability to connect directly with their fans and to build that relationship. That's what that's what, you know, Web3 and blockchain technology really allows for. Yeah, that is pretty awesome. But we've seen a bunch of people who performed in LA Live already hopping into our Discord to start to engage and meet people in chat. It's uh, it's really fun to see them in there. Absolutely. So yeah. I just I was I was looking at our YouTube comments over in the corner. A um, couple cool things. <clears throat> First of all, Critical Complex channel, David. I see you there. Um, awesome. You have awesome content. If y'all don't follow Critical Complex, go subscribe to his channel. He asked, will there be a Gala Music fan store? So he definitely listened to the film AMA. Um, yes, there will be. Um, Death Row Fan Node can't answer that one right now. So that's a good one. Also, yeah, just shout out to all of you keeping up great conversations over there. And I saw someone, I've lost you now, but someone who said, they are a Chicago resident. They know a lot of talented people that want to show samples of songs. Send them to Taco. Taco on our Discord. If you're not on our Discord, go to our Discord. Mod, yeah. the link to the Discord in the YouTube channel again, please. If you're not on our Discord, what are you even doing? Yeah. And then just going outside and stuff. That's terrible. Don't do that. <laughs> Who wants to go outside? I don't know. There's yeah, exactly. Or tell them to go to our website and submit via the uh, yeah. form on the website. Yeah, yeah. Artist link is always good. Yeah. I just like people going direct, going directly to Taco. I don't know. Yeah, that's about Taco it. connections are really deep one, you know. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Makes me feel valued. <laughs> you are valued. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 oh! I'm looking at the question list. There is one from Barb's there about Kings of Leon news is taking too long. Why? Uh, that makes me sad because I love Barb's and that's a sad sounding question. But overall with Kings, we've got a fantastic relationship with them. They've just finished up their European tour and we're actually going to be meeting with their management team right away when we finish up with another event I want to touch on real quick. Um, but they've got new music that is coming at some point in the future. I'm definitely not giving a Kings release date because their music, not mine. Um, but we want to make sure we go big with that and trying to see how that fits in with some of our emerging artists, you know, campaigns and initiatives as well. I think there's a lot of good synergy there and the King's team is super supportive of what we're doing and how we're building out. So we really want to take the time and make sure it's a damn good experience and it's a big experience that you would expect from Gala. So King's is still going to take a little while, but the other event I wanted to touch on, because we didn't mention it whatsoever, is the cookout with Snoop on the 3rd of September. For everyone that was amazing and collected all of the back on death row vials as well, or the tracks as well as the vial redeemers that chose to take the Snoop party option. So I'm super excited for this. Um, again, a lot of travel starting tomorrow at 5 a.m. Oh, God. Um, but I'm super excited for that to see all of you folks in L.A and just to have an awesome time. So the, the folks that are coming to this are about to get a ridiculously exclusive, ridiculously fun, and just ridiculously Snoop type of event yeah. right in LA. And um, yeah, I think it's just going to show one of those things of what collecting can get you. I am going to say I'm a jerk. I didn't collect all 18 of the tracks, and I do still get to go. So if sorry, sorry about that. You're still going to have to put up with me if you're there. Um, but the cooler people like Taco and Brandon will be here as well. So it's, it's okay. Oh, yeah. We will be I, there. I can, so, as a gal employee, but I also have a Vile Redemption Pass. So I'm I'm covering all my bases. You're going twice, then. I'm go I am going to go two times. I'm bringing my wife. So if you're there, you get to meet uh, Mrs. Taco. Oh, that's awesome. awesome. Um, this is going to be an amazing event, and I, I think it's indicative of what we can expect from the future of Gala Music. There are going to be a lot of cool events, a lot of cool experiences. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. 
And That's this is going to be a strange leak for the Snoop people because I don't know if any of you are actually on and listening right now. But if you are going to be at the barbecue, make sure you go to the after event too that we're going to be hosting. Um, that is going to be super important. You might get something for going to that. So, yeah, mini weird Snoop leak. Well, wow, that's a that's a leak for for that group too. That's a half leak. <laughs> well, you know what? They we record the YouTube videos. So they'll be able to check it later if they're not listening now. <laughs> nice and someone will post it in discord and i haven't even got a chance to look at the discord chat oh my god yeah i'm looking um, at it now myself i think most of them are hanging out with you and youtube i think we should do more on youtube in the future so i nice. like the youtube questions it's it's easy for me to see and you know it pops in people that might not be in our amazing discord yet Colton um, who says bonk does and harmony as a winner uh-oh <laughs> yep uh, you're not supposed to reread the leaks, don't you know the rules of uh, the rules of ghosts or the rules of the leaks? Bait, am I going? Yes, I'm going. Um, oh, all sorts of questions. I'd like to see more psy trance music. I want to know what psy trance music is. That sounds fun. Yeah, whatever that is, I also want to see more of it. Someone tell me what sidetrack music is. You can tell me in Discord. Or you can tell me here. Um, but I do want to pop into the discord real quick so when uk events um i don't know maybe maybe soon someone said they'd love to visit one in london that'd be great um so with gala music live we are looking to europe most likely next for our next series of events when we wrap the u.s world tour the u.s tour we'll go across the pond to the uk which is where i live already london's a good one i wonder if we could do one in london in october or is that too on the nose i don't know uh oh! <laughs> hey, are, are we just like, you know, are we just like we've got a guy called October London, so he's gonna play in October in London. But that could, that could be fun. The leak master. <laughs> that could be fun. Um. Also, yeah, I do live in Edinburgh. I've been trying to get a good venue here for a while. Turns out that everyone is booked at solid for two months. But Edinburgh, I would love. Also, Leeds, Newcastle, Birmingham, I think all good spots. Yes. Um, if we're thinking just the UK. I do know about the pain in the butt that is going between the UK and the EU now. Um, if you are touring, it is a massive pain, and I understand that. So we might even look at trying to do UK and then do EU. Yeah. Uh, that feels like a pretty good place to wrap, because that was honestly way too much information for everybody i know right <laughs> yeah hope you, hope you guys are excited that's all i can say <laughs> they're going to be excited now if they weren't already Oops. Uh, so that was really fun we're probably going to go hang out in discord a little bit after this um to tidy up some of our leaks and get things straight with people uh lane thank you as always for joining me brandon cyrano that was Amazing. Uh, I'm so happy to have you on board with Gala. We're going to have a lot of fun over the coming months and years. Yes, sir. Great. Excited to be here. And uh, this was a, a fun first AMA. Looking forward to doing more. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Enjoy your day. Find us on Twitter and Discord and YouTube and all that. Yeah. No, no sun here because UK, but uh, yeah, we'll be around. Yep. We'll be here. All right, folks. Thank All you. Right. Take care.